Hey guys, let's uh, just move on and this is again another short section. Now, um, this section is about reversing the order of integration. Okay, We spend far enough time defining the region R, whether it's type 1, type 2, and the proper steps and how we're going to define the region R. Well, one may suspect that there's more uh, ways that we can go around this because after all, if the integration that we do on the function of x and y really depends on the, you know, the order of integration that we do it. Sometimes it can be simple, sometimes it can be difficult, and with more experience, you know when to integrate with respect to y first or with respect to x first. But let's just look at an example and see what I mean. Okay, this lesson is about uh, reversing the order of integration. So, let's just say we've got a problem, okay, and we want to integrate the function f um, in terms of x and y. And now, uh, if we write out a problem as like this, we're going to partially integrate it first with respect to x. Again, I say these are functions in terms of y, so that we substitute in, we can integrate this whole integrand, which is in terms of y. Um, if you were to notice, this is a type 2 region. So what we're doing is that first we're integrating along the x-axis. Okay, so the curves are defined at the left and right. Then we go from up and down, boundaries from c to d. So, uh, so it somehow turns out that there are cases, okay, where function of f in terms of x and y cannot be readily integrated in terms of x. Okay, we need to integrate in terms of y first. And when we want to do the reverse, uh, reversing the order of integration, these are like three basic steps that I thought of, you know, and it can really guide you along. First, and the most important step, leave function of x and y alone, okay? Now, I know many of you know a change in coordinate system. This is not a change in coordinate system. We are still sticking to the same coordinate system x, y, z. So, just leave the function um, f of uh, function x and y alone, function of x and y alone. We don't need to touch it at all. Okay, then next thing we do, okay, is that um, depending on the limit over here, we need to uh, kind of re-express it in terms of the other variable, right? So, um, h1 can be something in terms of, let's just say, x squared plus 1, right? Uh, we need to re-express this, okay, in terms of x. Because why? Well, basically, um, this will give us something like this, right? Okay, so we've got x here, we've got y here. This will give us something like a curve like this. Okay, and it's, it's x equals to da, 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 da. Okay, so this is, you know, we are integrating, um, the curve is the left and the right, but when we want to integrate a curve that is from the bottom to the top, we obviously need something y in terms of x, in terms of x. Y in terms of x, and that is why what we need to do is that we let x equals to this, so for this case, we let x equals to y squared plus 1, and we arrange in terms of x. Yeah, in terms of x. So, um, what I'm trying to tell you is that if it's this in terms of y, you put x equals to that, and you know, you can rearrange it. If in terms of x, you put y equals to that, and you rearrange it. More examples coming up, and you see that why that is very clear. Okay, and the three, you know, for right now, you possibly need to graph r to rewrite the limits, okay? Because you need to kind of know what um, r is. The region r, remember, the region r is the, is the base along the x and y plane. So, we need to sketch it out to see what's going on, what region r is all about and then how we can re-express the limits. Okay, so let's just look at a certain example. Okay, uh, find the double integral of e to the x squared, okay, where the limits are given like so. Um, first, the problem initially sets out to do the partial integration in terms of x first and then in terms of y. Now, e um, x to the 2, okay, e to the x to the 2, okay, is not an elementary function. Now, I got a certain way that I can integrate that, not to flaunt my knowledge at all. Trust me, I don't do that, okay? But um, what I'm trying to say is that we cannot readily integrate it in terms of x. Right? But what can we say about it? Well, if we want to partially integrate that in terms of y, it's easy because, you know, if we treat x as a constant, this is a constant, it just basically be e to the x to the 2, um, y. Okay, and that, and that, you know, that is why this reversing the, the integration process is important. So let's just run through the steps, taking this as an example. Okay, I've dropped out region r over here. Okay, as you can see, it's not essential and possibly right now, I don't need to graph out the function f um, of x and y, which is e to the x to the 2. I don't need to graph that out. I can just leave it as it is. This is the region r, which basically forms, you know, on the xy plane, the area r in terms of the xy plane. So if you want to think about it, the surface is sticking out. We are projecting the surface along here and we're analyzing um, r. So what can I say about the limits? Well, what um, is written over here is a type 2 region. Okay, if you, if you still are not familiar with that, basically just look at the limits, okay? Now, the limit say is in terms of um, x first, okay? So, I always think if it's in terms of x, we're always moving along the x-axis first, which is basically this way, okay? And what is the first limit? Well, if it's um, in terms of x, right? So, we are moving along this way, we move to the left first, okay? And then it's um, x, y equals to 2. That's why you see y equals to 2 over here. Then when we move to the right, is x equals to 1, okay? So, it's in terms of x first, and then later in terms of y. So, when we move up and down, we go from 0, okay? Um, y equals to 0 to y equals to r, okay? This is the region r, and that's the order of the integration that we have. But we want to reverse the order, 
Okay, we want to reverse the order. So if we are moving from here like that, like that, and go from down to up, and we want to reverse the order, well, most logically, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go from down to up in terms of y first, okay, and then we're gonna go from left to right. Okay, I repeat again. Right now, look, it's in terms of x and then in terms of y. So in terms of x, okay, just imagine a line along the x-axis. We're integrating this way, okay, which is which is right. Y equals to two to x equals to one. Sorry, x is equal to y divided by two to x equals to one, and then we go from down to up in terms of y, the the outer integration which happens second from zero to two. Let's reverse the order. We're going, okay. So now we think about it along the y-axis first, okay, along the y-axis first. So we're gonna go from down to up. Okay, so we're gonna go from here to here, and then after that, we're gonna go from left to right. Okay, so let's just rewrite that and see what we have. The function stays the same. Leave the function of x and y alone, so e to the x to the 2 stays as it is. Okay, and I'm gonna write just right now, put dy first and then dx. Okay, so we want to integrate uh, with respect to y first, right? So I just write integrate sign like that. So what can we say? This is the region R. It's good that we graph it out because we know what's going on. We go from um, y first, so we're going to go from down to bottom, okay? Well, what's the graph over here? Remember, we need to kind of think of two graphs that really, really bound the curve. Um, uh, remember, g1, g1, x, yeah, g1, x, g2, x. So what's the first one? The first one is actually y equals to zero. Okay, so the first one is uh, y equals to zero, okay? So this basically becomes our g1, x. Now, okay, and look at very carefully, okay? I know that it's y equals to two, and I draw this dotted line here to specify this point, but let's look at it carefully, because when we move from um, y equals to zero all the way up, notice that the curve that bounds the region R is gonna be this curve over here, okay? But then now, I just need to re-express that in terms of x. So, x equals to y divided by two, y is equals to two x. That's all that is to it. That is why, you know, we want to use x is equals to h2. In this case, this is h2. Or what started out to be h2y, we want to transform that to a hg2x. Why again? Well, because we're integrating with respect to y. So our limits needs to be in terms of x. I move down, y equals to zero, no problem. So I put a zero here. I will move up. I will reach this curve um, over here, right? Oh, sorry, this line, which is x equals to y divided by 2. Rearrange that, I get y equals to 2x, and that will be my upper limit. There we go. Now, once I've done this, I'm going to move from left to right. Now, that's very easy. It's basically integrate from 0 to 1 in terms of x. And that is how we do it. Now, some of you might be very tempted, and I think at, at me at the moment, if you get more familiar with this, you want to just immediately substitute the limits, but really, we should grab our R to see what's going on. So this is easy now. What we have is integrate 0 to 1, okay, and then this would give us um, y, yeah, y e x to the 2, put in the limits of 0 and 2x, and then integrate that with respect to x. Okay, and what we get is that we basically get 2x, integrate from 0 to 1, sorry, uh, integrate 2x e to the x to the 2, um, dx, and this we can do. Why? Because this 2x is very important. It's an important 2x, even though it doesn't sound important. Because when we differentiate x squared, we get 2x, it's on the outside. We're gonna use a standard form, which I believe is just, um, yeah, it's just e to the x squared, 0 to 1. Okay, and just evaluate that. Let me just check, yeah, and it's e take away 1. So there we go, uh, reversing the order of integration. Remember to graph out r so we can you know, see what's going on, re-express the limits and be careful. Right? We want to partial integrate with respect to y first, so the limits will be in terms of x. That's why we, re we need to re-express the curve, which is what we did. Okay, uh, simple example, nothing much to it.